Asia is said to be the largest and most diverse continent in the whole world. One thing that makes Asia an interesting place to explore is that it presents so many different experiences. It has the greatest range of climatic extremes than any other continent in the world. It is host to the widest range of flora and fauna. And with a total of 49 countries, how do you choose which Asian countries to visit and what to expect from each one of them? Let's start with some of our favorites. Welcome to our channel, where we share with you all of the amazing places on this planet to put on your bucket list. If you're new here, we know you're going to like it. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Without further ado, here we go. We'll be exploring 5 of the most beautiful Asian countries to visit so you can start planning your trip. It's time for Asia! Number 1. Maldives First on this list is a tourist favorite especially for people who love the beach. The Maldives has over a thousand islands and a collection of some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. The clear beautiful water, white sand, and dreamy blue skies will make you feel like you just stepped into one of your fantasies. Most of the tourist activities in the Maldives revolve around the beaches but you can choose to see the capital city of Malay as well or pick one of the many fancy resorts that often include a private island. If you choose to see the city, you'll need to note that the natives are conservative Muslims. While Maldives in general is a top location for honeymoons, open displays of affection are illegal in Malay and dressing must be modest. In Malay, you can explore the National Museum with artifacts from almost a thousand years ago. Sultan Park is also a great place to visit for a walk or a picnic with family and friends. Don't end your tour without a visit to Republic Square where there's a larger-than-life Maldivian flag waving. Visiting Mali is quite easy because it's close to the airport on Hulhuli Island. The clear water in Maldives is not only good for aesthetic and stunning Instagram-worthy pictures, but it also has a treasure within for people who love to explore underwater. It's a dream location for scuba diving and snorkeling. One thing you'll never forget even years after visiting the Maldives is the beautiful sunset when the sun kisses earth in brilliant flashes of orange, yellow, and purple. Be sure to take as many pictures and videos as possible for when your heart starts to miss it. Number 2. Japan Japan has so many different destinations that offer completely different experiences that it's hard to tell you about all of them in one short segment. We will focus on Tokyo in today's video, but look out for more videos from our channels as we are planning to do a Japan-focused video for you soon. The capital of Japan and home of anime, Tokyo is a fast-paced city with several sights and sounds to keep you captivated. It is one of the largest cities in the world with multiple options to choose from for shopping, cuisine, and entertainment. There are markets for everything here, fresh produce, seafood, electronics, and even anime fan culture. Different landscape gardens such as Koishikawa, Korakuen, Hamarikyu, Rikugien, and the Imperial East Gardens are open to tourists. The beautiful green scenery makes them a perfect location for strolls, sunny pictures, and picnics. Japan's Imperial Palace is also located in Tokyo and guided tours are given throughout the year. However, the buildings and the inner parts of the palace are out of bounds due to palace traditions. Visitors are only allowed access into the inner areas of the palace on January 2nd for the New Year's greetings and on February 23 which is the emperor's birthday. During these periods, the members of the imperial family make public appearances from a balcony. If you'd like to see them, then you might want to plan your trip around this time. Tokyo is also home to one of Japan's best museums, the Tokyo National Museum with over 100,000 items. At any time you visit the museum, you will see at least 4,000 of these items on display. It is no doubt a rich experience. Also, don't forget to try sleeping in a pod-style hotel in Tokyo and pamper your taste buds with some delicious ramen noodles. Number 3. Thailand the country of smiles as Thailand is fondly called is home to beautiful temples and picturesque beaches. There are over a thousand islands in Thailand along two very long coastlines. In most places, underwater lovers can even snorkel and swim with whale sharks. One of the phenomenal aspects of Thailand is its cuisine. With simple, fresh, local ingredients, they whip up complex, savory dishes that leave you longing for more. Most of their dishes include a generous amount of seafood and lemongrass. A good warning though, 
Thai food is well known for hot chili so be sure to ask for only a moderate amount of pepper or you'll be in for a burning surprise. Thailand is a predominantly Buddhist nation with several stunning temples to show for it. The temples and underground shrines are open to visitors but modest dressing and respect for worshippers are mandated. If you'd like to get a little more involved just to get a closer feel of the Buddha worship, there are meditation retreats and religious festivals to partake in. Just make sure to observe all the rules so you don't get looked at awkwardly or thrown out altogether. The capital city Bangkok has the world's largest open-air market so be prepared for a new shopping experience if you choose to visit. If you think that'll be too much for you to handle, try the 8-level shopping mall which also houses a world-class aquarium. Chaotic yet beautiful is the best way to describe Thailand. Oh, and be sure to enjoy some delicious Thai street food in Bangkok when the night is calling but the city is wild awake. Number 4. Singapore a small paradise with high-rise buildings, luxurious shopping malls, and cheap scrumptious chow, Singapore is definitely a country to put on your bucket list. You know when you visit a country but it feels like there are so many places to visit in a short time and the locations are so far away from each other that you can't possibly cover them all within your stay? That will most likely not happen in Singapore. The city is small yet filled with several interesting places to see and an incredibly efficient transport system makes it easy to travel with ease. The Singapore Botanic Gardens is a testament to the country's commitment to preserving the ecosystem and living sustainably. Visit Singapore's thriving wildlife at the Singapore Zoo which sits on 26 hectares of land. Brace yourself for a surreal experience. You can start with the jungle breakfast with wildlife which is a buffet held in the morning and with some orangutans to keep you company. At the fragile forest biodome, get to witness the sluggishness of a sloth firsthand. See red bumped baboons at the Great Rift Valley exhibit and if you have kids, let them scream in excitement at the Rainforest Kids World. The only danger is that with the pony rides, swings, and slides, your children will always want to come back to Singapore. If you love shopping, Orchard Road is definitely the place for you. With a rich assortment of shopping malls and designer stores, you can feed your eyes in your shopping carts too. Just make sure you're ready to part with some cash. The local stores and markets also have various local items you can buy including indigenous crafts and clothing items. Ensure you get something that will remind you of this scenic city. Number 5. Philippines Every beach lover deserves a trip to the Philippines with more than 7,000 beaches to choose from, each with its unique features and experience. Everyone is welcome here, from those who simply like to strut across the sandy beach and just to step into the water, to kayakers, surfers, and kite boarders. You can start your adventure at Coron Island, home to the Tagbanwa people who mainly fish and gather bird's nests. The natives are exceptional climbers who go to great heights in search of edible bird nests, a luxurious delicacy here, also termed white gold. Visit the clear Kayangan Lake for a swim and some beautiful photos, then proceed to Barracuda Lake, which is a favorite spot for divers because of the special layered architecture of fresh, salty, and brackish waters. Be warned, however, the temperatures fluctuate drastically and it can get hot underwater. Fort Santiago, another famous tourist attraction, lies at the foot of the Pasig River. At first sight, there are beautiful well-groomed gardens and fountains which led to an arched gate. Inside is the home to the Rizal Shrine Museum built in honor of Philippines' national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. A restored 18th century Spanish military barracks and different dungeon cell blocks are also interesting things to see here. The Nakpan Beach, Minilok Island, Duli Beach, Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, and Basilica Minore del Santo Niño are other beautiful places to visit and learn more about the country and its people. Challenge yourself to visit as many beaches as you can in the Philippines and perhaps join a teeming crowd to worship at the Basilica Minore del Santo. There are so many wonderful Asian destinations. It is impossible to mention all of them in one video. Here are some bonus bits of info for your next trip to some of the Asian countries. A Singapore building named Sandcrawler was actually inspired by a Star Wars robot which it was named after. Fan love doesn't get any deeper than this. In South Korea, single people are not allowed to celebrate Valentine's Day on February 14. If they do so, they'll be arrested. Okay, that's just a joke. South Korea has 12 love days, one on the 14th of each month. In February, 
Women gave men chocolates and the gift is reciprocated in March. Single people who receive nothing in February and March come together to bicker over a bowl of jajangmyeon noodles. Asia is the second largest continent, but it's the most populous, home to about 60% of the world's population. The Philippines has one of the longest underground rivers in the world, the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River. Be sure to include this unique experience in your Philippines itinerary. So, which place was your favorite? Comment below! And if you enjoyed this video, you are definitely going to love this other video from our channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. See you soon and until then, bon voyage!